Hello peeps and welcome back to Project Hospital. Uh, welcome back to our insurance um, mission for infectious diseases. Uh, we're doing all right with the insurances. Um, we are, that's not the right, that's not the right screen at all. Uh, we're doing happy life at the moment. Um, we'll be doing protect care for traumatology um, after we've completed these ones um, and so far we're on the sixth sixth one out of ten and we have to have no dead patients or lost cases um, so that's even sort of patients rage quitting I guess um, for five days um, so um, we did that our first day um, and now we have our first nighttime shift to be honest, I don't really anticipate any major problems uh, in this area um, because this hospital runs quite well. The only slightly dodgy department is traumatology, which I'm trying not to fix up um, or spend too much time in for the moment uh, because I'd like to enjoy that when we get to traumatology. So uh, I am going to kind of just let the hospital run for five days really if anything interesting happens um if we have any events kick off or anything um i shall be sure uh, uh to cover them uh oh yeah we do have these two patients that we've been uh watching don't we and his lab procedure look just uncovered a symptom um, so we oh we now actually have a diagnosis for this guy. Let's get that done. His comfort's actually pretty good, isn't it? Uh, I, I still think I'll give him some painkillers, but there we are. Uh, so we don't need to worry about him anymore. Um, this gentleman here, um, uh oh, he has hypovolemic uh, shock. Oh yes, we're waiting for somebody to do that. Hopefully, there's a shift change. As always, it causes problems. Um, and then we've also been watching Lisa Cole as well, who has had surgery. Um, we do still have hidden symptoms uh, for Lisa, so I think we will uh, do a physical examination. It's possible we've caused some problems post-surgery um, because the traumatology team are brand spanking new, pretty much. Uh, so, and she's still in a lot of... Uh, discomfort and and stuff so uh we shall look after lisa cole but otherwise i think yeah we'll just just let time pass uh for five days lisa cole has made it back to the ward um somebody's coming to give her a physical is it thomas possibly or is it somebody else i don't know uh it looks like it is thomas here he comes excellent um, just to see if we've uh, caused anything. Now we're also going to need, look, we've got ballistic wounds. So I think for that we're going to need emergency care. Um, here, yes. So we should probably arrange emergency care for that. I think we should arrange some painkillers um, as well. That would be, that would be good. That will help with this pain that she's got going on. Yes, we have a wound infection, so we're going to get some antiseptic spray on there. So we did cause uh, some post-surgery problems. I thought we might do. They're not. They're not the best um, as of yet. Um, so we have done an ECG. Um, I'm thinking we want to try and find what all. Uh, these symptoms are so it might be worth doing a CT um, uh, we've done the USG so yeah because uh, we can do more exams here so I'm thinking we might do the CG at uh, CT rather um, I might also arrange the x-ray but I want to try and uncover all symptoms so we know uh, what what is going on here uh, do you know what? I don't want that CT to go through um, until we've got this antiseptic spray. This is this is very important. So I'm going to wait for this antiseptic spray, otherwise she could go into shock as well. Look, we're going to get it in a minute. I think. Or is this... I don't know. What did she just have? I wasn't paying attention. Was it this? don't know. I don't know. I, I wasn't... 
peeps, I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, what occurred there? Okay, so she's back in bed. Now we can give her, yeah, so we've put her on a blood transfusion. What about the antiseptic spray, guys? There we go. Now let's arrange the CT. Excellent. That's it. Shut off. In your pop. Who's this guy? Grant. Mania. <laughs> there we go. In, in she goes. Oh, who's this? Clementine Porridge. <laughs> okay. Scanning. 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 Imagine if it said that. If this experience isn't bad enough. Imagine that on top of it. We should probably deal with this. Oh, he's looking at the results. What do you see? Look, oh my god, those eyes. If I zoom in too close to the game, I just, the eyes are so unsettling. If I could ask for any minor changes to be made to the game, a redesign of the, the eyes, uh, I think would be it, with a closed animation when they're sleeping. I think that'd be nice. It doesn't even need to be an animation, just the eyelids over the top, right? What is this? So we did a lower, oh, we did... Oh, but we've already we've already dealt with it. Okay, excellent. So, um, but we still got hidden symptoms. So I think what we'll do is do a lower limb X-ray. Uh, I want to just try and uncover everything she's got going on here because this is quite serious, um, and I still don't know uh, these things very well. Uh, so I don't know if there could have been any other complications from surgery. So I just, I, I would just like to not have this mystery. And of course I'm on specialist mode, so I can't see pulsating symptoms. Uh, so yeah, just, just keen to, to have a butcher's. We know that she doesn't have a tachycardia, that much we know. Uh, and we've done physical examination, so we know that she doesn't have any severe hemorrhaging. Um, or unstoppable bleeding. So that's good. Um, so, uh, uh, and we've done the USG. Um, uh, so we've not had to, we've not found any foreign objects uh, to remove. So that's, that's something. Um, uh, but we never know, there might be um, some surgery that's required here. So I'd, I'd like to find out for sure. Uh, we might also arrange uh, some oxygen just to help uh, ease this. Is this causing her? It's not actually causing her in di any discomfort. The emergency care did. It, the emergency care used to cancel out um, things that were causing severe pain, discomfort. Now it, it just sort of replaces it, but at least it's replaced it with uh, treatment rather than the actual damage. So I suppose it's better, but I, I'm not 100% sure. Um, muscle damage is causing her discomfort, but there's nothing we can do about that. Although, you know, this is much better than it used to be, right? Much, much better than it used to be. I like that we do have, now that we've given her oxygen, we can actually see her getting it. That's a, a fairly new thing, and it's very cool. I like it. That's a nice touch, that, right? Now that, we can see her getting her oxygen. Like it. Nice little detail. This is returning to x-ray for her lower limb examination. There she is. Excellent. So who do we have for this examination? We have Noddy. <laughs> okay. Here we go. And we just want to see if there is a fracture. I mean, we've had quite a lot of damage to this leg. Um, but what we haven't done, it seems, is just check the bones. Um, to see if there's any kind of uh, fracture. If there is, we'll need a little surgery. Uh, so it's worth finding, for sure. And we've still got hidden symptoms, so I would say it's guaranteed that there's some sort of fracture here that we will need uh, to get some surgery for. Um, that's it. Okay, I don't know why we're taking our shirt off and on, given that it's, you know, I mean, we know where the problem is. Okay, so that didn't find anything. So what are these hidden symptoms? Oh, so there might be complications then that come from this surgery that I'm unaware of. I think I'm going to do a blood pressure. Let's take temperature. Oh. Mm. 
could do a, a blood draw. Hmm. I do not know. Sometimes doing um, the ICU blood draw. This one, the blood analysis in the ICU one, where they use the blood machine inside the ICU. That's really super quick. So part of me is thinking about sending her to the ICU so that we could do that, that blood analysis uh, really, really quickly. But we won't. We'll, we'll keep her in traumatology. Um, but yeah, if, if she doesn't have any kind of fracture, I mean, she can't have any of these remaining symptoms here, I don't think. So this must be some sort of additional surgery complication. And because I don't really know the traumatology things uh, that well yet, I'm not really sure what it could be. Um, but I do know that blood pressure um, and blood draw can find post-surgical uh, issues on other departments, usually to do with the heart. Um, but I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll have a try with, uh, with Lisa here. No, I've just realised I need to do this PS blood control. Post-surgery blood analysis is used in post-operative care in patients that could suffer from sepsis. Uh, so that's the one we want, not that blood draw. We want the PS blood control. I mean, we've dealt with this, but I suppose there could be something else. For all we know, there could be a flashing symptom here, and I just don't know what it is. She's not getting much sleep. She's going straight into her examination. So we're going to do all sorts of bits and bobs here, I, I presume. Uh, I've added this as well, uh, the pulse thing. I don't know if that finds any post-surgery problems. I have no idea. So here we go then. Thomas is back. We're going to take her blood pressure. Uh, just to see, you know. Because maybe if there's some internal bleeding from a surgical cut or something, could that not make her blood pressure or a pulse weaker maybe possibly oh, okay that found nothing temperature i don't know why i'm taking temperature i just think it's always a good idea to take someone this temperature i mean if she had an infection she might get a temperature right but i don't see why she would have a temperature but i just thought you know oh, it, we'll do another physical as well i think it's pointless doing another physical we did the physical but we'll, we'll do another physical all the same let's do this pulse no Okay, that didn't help. And now he is leaving. He didn't do the physical or the PS blood control just at the moment, okay? I would have thought that uh, they would have done the PS blood control here. I think they can do physical at bedside. I'm not 100% sure. Um, I have forgotten, but let's see. Maybe they can do the PS blood control from here. I would have thought she'd have to go back. Yeah, she's now waiting for a free examination room again. I was thinking, I'm sure that's done an examination room where they did that. What the fuck? What? Oh, look. Okay, so for the PS blood control, she has to come down to this room. Wow. I did not know that. I've just learned something. Uh, can we see this room, please? Cardiography and x-ray is where she's gone for that. Look at that. So that's where she's coming for her PS bug dry. I see, so it's not the examination room at all. Wow. And she, is this why we've got this blood machine here? I suppose it is. I did think it was something to do with the heart, so it's probably not going to be anything like this at all department can't diagnose a patient i beg your pardon <laughs> william wilson what's going on what's going on here uh so he's in emergency so it could be any one of these things oh, we've had a whole bunch of tests wow okay so have we had a ct we have so we know it's not this um have we had this transient uh, elasto thingy we've not so that might be worth uh, taking a look at have we had a blood test we have so we know it's not lead poisoning um typhoid fever uh, no we've had we've had this yes right so it's got to be this 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 we're fairly sure it's this um uh oh, it automatically sent them to that department. I would have rather it didn't do that, but there we are. It did it. Um, 
I would like to test for this first before we go treating treating such things so could we arrange that please thank you thank you okay uh, we've got a couple of other patients that uh, I'm just trying to keep an eye on here just to see how they're getting along uh, oh he has a wound infection I uh, did my rounds, my evening rounds, and found a couple of patients that were looking a little bit ropey. Um, so here we are. Do you know what we'll do? I think we'll do one of these PS block controls on this dude as well. Uh, oh, look. And it looks like we might have... Oh! <gasps> Sepsis! Lisa Cole! So it was absolutely worth finding it. And look, now we don't have any hidden symptoms. So it would have um, caused her to collapse. Look at this. IV antibiotics, please. Let's get that done. Wow, okay, so yeah, this is a good idea, right? Ordering this PS blood control here as well, um, I think. Okay, then what did we have over here? Um, so they, they had ordered, they had already ordered these tests. Um, just had a medicine for this. Um, anything else? So that didn't produce anything. Done the physical. Could do a CRP. Um, and now we're actually testing C just to confirm that this is the actual illness. Look. Okay, give her that for the rash. Uh, okay. Uh, well, well done, Lisa. Uh, we. I'm really pleased that we managed to uh, locate that. That wound was was much worse than we thought, eh? William here's just got up out of bed and is going for a for a stroll to uh, the doctor. Fair enough. Just, just gonna walk straight there. Lisa is back in bed. She's had her IV. Uh, she is 100%. Nothing to worry about now, which is great. Paul is just uh, coming in for his uh, PS blood control. Looks like he's come to the general surgery one, which is fine, of course. Uh, that works for us. Um, nothing amazing going on there. Where's Where's William? Okay, he's uh, on his way to have his scan. So he's going to be going into one of these uh, sonography rooms, right? Uh, general surgery. So he's going across the way, look, from Paul. So we've got Paul in here. <laughs> now we've got William up in here. Look, they're running that blood test. Look at that. So it's nice and quick. A bit like the ICU, ICU one, but not ICU. Okay. So we're going to scan him. Uh, just see if we can confirm fibrosis. They're still running the tests across the way. We'll probably get a ping on that in a moment for Paul. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Confirmed. It absolutely is this. So we can now uh, give meds for that. Tell him to get some rest. We're also going to uh, give these painkillers. Uh, just to try and increase uh, the comfort. So not going to worry about them anymore. All good. What's going on, Paul? Did the... Did the tests come back? Ah, oh, they were negative. Okay, so Paul's probably okay. Let's have a look here. Um, we do need to try and increase his comfort if we if we can. Uh, looks like he's had abdominal palpitations. We didn't find anything. Um, have we done speech listening? Looks like we might... No, we haven't done speech listening. I don't actually see the option. Oh, though no, there it is. So let's do speech listening. Just see if there's any... Um, confusion because if there is we can give him tranquilizers and i tell you what that gives a positive boost um let's see here uh we did the neurological testing and, and, and didn't find anything or we could find anxiety as well and give him some meds for that which would also help um we've done physicals okay so speech listening really is the only thing that we have uh, left available to us um we've also got this abdominal injury now the problem that i have here is that if i give him the 
the abdominal injury is causing minus two negative so if I do the emergency care it means we'll repair this abdominal injury but the emergency care also gives us minus two negative so he's not going to feel any better for it um, neither of these are going to give him a positive boost in his mood either uh, for the bruising or the hypertension um, the other thing he's complaining about is actually um, uh, the meds for his tachycardia uh, there's nothing I can do about that so that's that's a little upsetting still waiting for the test results here on Jennifer oh my god they're rushing him uh, straight uh, transport to treatment oh is it uh, no, for emergency care. He's having his emergency care, isn't he? <laughs> See how quickly I forgot? He's having his emergency care. He doesn't like it. Uh, I wonder if, while we're here, we'll do the speech listening. Does that happen here? I do not know. What is this? Okay. Um, we confirmed that this is absolutely the case. There's no more Bye. symptoms here to worry about, so we can let go of Jennifer. It is just... It's just Paul now. Oh, we are doing the speech listening right here. Who is, oops, who is this? Judy. Okay, excellent. We do have confusion. We can give him tranquilizers. I'm excited for that. Uh, what's going on here? So William has uh, uh, gone back to the, uh, to Loki uh, at general surgery. Um, and he seems to be all fine. His comfort is great. We've uh, treated him, so it's time to send him home. Uh, excellent. And I would say we've also done everything here that we can uh, for Paul. We just need to give him these tranquilizers. I don't think we'll get five stars of uh, comfort from Paul uh, with the tranquilizers, um, but... Um, uh, it'll certainly improve it. Oh my goodness, I was waiting for Paul to get his meds. A patient is collapsing. What on earth is going on over here? What on earth is going on over here? This is terrible, everybody. This is terrible. We need a CT on this guy. Uh, yeah, so very keen to get them to the ICU, which is what will automatically happen here. Then we need to rush them in uh, to a CT. Um, so there they go. Send them off to the ICU and before we really do anything major, uh, actually we'll stick him on live support <laughs> and then we'll order uh, the CT. Oh no, Mark, please don't. Oh my god, they're bleeding everywhere. How did this happen? I should have watched those ambulances and those choppers coming in and I didn't. <gasps> oh no, oh no, oh no. <laughs> Good news though. Paul had his meds. He's at four and a half stars of comfort. So that's great. Uh, so we can say goodbye to Paul now. And we'll just worry about uh, Mark. Who they didn't even do a physical for, right? So blood pouring everywhere from his head. He's vomiting. They didn't even do a physical. Can you believe it? So let's get him into a CT ASAP. Um, we are looking for, uh oh, is that shift change happening right now? We are looking for, um, yeah, intracranial hemorrhaging, um, and if there's any, um, contusions on his head, which I'm, I'm, I'm assuming there must be, because there's head trauma, there's a lot of head injury and trauma, um, you know, although one's painkillers, the other one is, um, surgery the fact that we've got blood pouring everywhere says to me that he has some hemorrhaging <laughs> uh, so very keen to get him into the ct which is usually a quick process but the staff thing is is the absolute pits okay thank you whoever you are elizabeth baker did some bits and bobs around his room he is now going to his CT she's moving quick she's a rocket nurse Mary Tornado is back <laughs> oh my god blood everywhere we know he has hemorrhaging we know he needs surgery come along let's let's get him scanned scan him scan him Faye Tickle <laughs> look at the blood the blood oh my god 
blood. Oh my god, I feel like I should just quickly check. Oh my goodness, it's fine. They're, they'll look after him, I hope. <laughs> We're very concerned about Mark. Tell us what we already know, please, <laughs> so that I can arrange the surgery quickly. So we've already had one coma. What is this? Patient got worse because of wrong diagnosis. What on earth? I guess they're spawning and coming back. Okay, <laughs> not to worry. See? He absolutely has it. Let's get this surgery. Um, let's get this surgery going. It's the most important thing right now. We need we need to get this dealt with. Now he should go into surgery quite quickly. He's landed in the bed. They are stabilizing him. Straight to surgery. <laughs> He's been transported to surgery. So that's the way to do it. Just like ping pong him around. Um, but the the stabilization uh, each time he lands in a bed is so very important uh, because it can be the difference between life and death. Um, so having uh, decent anaesthetists in your ICU is imperative for those very moments where you're transferring patients around that are very ill indeed, like Mark here. He has arrived. He's now going to have his surgery. We'll stop all this bleeding. And then we'll be able to actually try and do with a few of these sorts of bits and bobs. Get a bandage around his head, you know, try and settle his stomach, this sort of stuff. Um, but will there be any post-surgery post problems? Because, of course, we've not diagnosed everything here yet. So I am going to have to run through this lift, uh, list after the, all the sort of the emergency stuff has come to an end. Um, oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Uh, that's bad. Where's he? Oh wow, okay. Uh, yeah, we, we, we must sort that out. <laughs> Get that sorted, guys. Get that sorted. Yeah. I wonder if he'll have any post-surgery things. It'll be hard for us to know straight up because there's no pulsating symptoms for us, so we'll have to try and diagnose through these quite quickly after his operation. Oh, look at this. We've uh, diagnosed William here. We don't need that chest x-ray then. So let's get him some antibiotics. Um, yeah. Let's get him some antibiotics. That would be... That would be good. Do we want to do this? I don't know. Let's have his comfort. So he's got discomfort. He's got breathing problems. So we need to give him this. And then he doesn't like the fact that he had a blood draw. We'll just tell him to get some rest. Um, yeah. We won't bother with this. If anything, it'll just cause him more discomfort, and he's not actually complaining complaining of this in any way. So, uh, yeah, there we go. So that will sort William out. Excellent. Um, getting concerned about this. Stop. Right. Did you put him on his blood transfusion? You did. Okay. I was doing it in the wrong order. Right. Anyway. Mark. Had his surgery, but of course we're not considering him out of the woods just yet. Um, being in specialist mode, it's hard to know whether the operation was a complete success or not. Um, so, first of all, I'd like to yeah stop this vomiting. I'd like to get a bandage around his head for his head injury. You know, I feel like we should get bleeding bandage on it. Right, let's do a physical. Finally, let's actually take a look at that head, shall we? Um, also, I'm interested to see if there's any confusion. Can't do speech listening. Uh, he shouldn't be in a coma anymore, but maybe he is. So I can't do the speech listening or the interview. So we don't know if he's got dizziness and confusion. Uh, we dealt with the nausea. Um, we did that. Uh, yeah, can't slurred speech. We can't check for long reaction time. We can't check for a headache. So the physical seems to be... Oh, oh maybe this. Increased in cranial pressure. Might need to do that. Do you know, I don't think I've ever checked for this, ever. <laughs> uh, so let's do it. That'd be something different. Um, so let's have a look. Uh, uh, CSF analysis. It's going to be near the end somewhere. Um, now, oh. Can we not Can we not do that here? Because look, grayed out. 
have to be on neurology to do it interesting and i can't send him to neurology so i guess we won't be doing that oh shame uh at the same time though i guess he doesn't have this but v vp uh uh sh shunting i don't i've said that wrong haven't i <laughs> uh i don't think i've ever actually seen that surgery performed before i might start looking for this in neurology <laughs> We might try and find a case of this when we do that uh, neurology tips and uh, tips and tricks and things. Uh, right. Okay. So, well, he's at full comfort now. So I guess that's good. The physical hasn't found any sort of post-surgical problems. So I think we're okay. Shall we, just to be sure, so maybe as a matter of course we should do an icu blood analysis maybe we should always start doing these after the surgeries because my surgical teams are a little dodge let's be honest okay she will domain um it was a patron it's uh doing the blood analysis so here here they come in the icu straight up just gonna do that there if this isn't all clear then i might actually consider mark uh, totally fine. She's coming back. Washing the hands. Good o. It was negative. It was negative. So I think he's probably okay. But it, it, we could have these things in his hidden symptoms, but we can't test for them. We can't do speech listening. We can't do an interview. And we can't do the CSF either. So I think we're going to have to sort of consider Mark. Oh, hang on. They've ordered speech listening. We don't need another CT. And we've just done a physical. <laughs> but you know what? I couldn't order the speech listening. Um, so you know what? I'll take that. Okay. This might help us find bits and bobs that we want. there we go yeah he's got all kinds of stuff going on slurred speech long reaction time tinnitus confusion and actually there is still hidden symptoms what in the heck i mean we did the physical after anyway uh didn't we we did the physical after the surgery Interesting. I'm quite sure. Let's do heart monitoring. I'm wondering if... I, I, I want to know what this is. Uh, what this is. I want to know. The only thing that we can't do, I suppose, is the CSF sampling, right? So maybe he does have this, but then wouldn't he need an operation? This is worrying worrying i think we're just gonna have to consider him okay guess if he crashes we'll know if you enjoyed the video please like and subscribe thank you to all my patreons for their continued support